KPI and I, safety is our number one priority, and the first key to safety is properly securing and protecting your cargo. Here we'll be reviewing how to properly secure and protect a load of skidded coils. First and foremost, when loading skidded coils, it's important to remember that it is PI&I's policy that no skidded coils are to be stacked more than too high. Once the material is placed according to company policy, you'll need to ready your securement devices. This load will require three chains, three binders, six J-hooks, four edge protectors, one rubber belting, and one forward motion block. These are issued on a case-by-case -case basis. It's the driver's responsibility to request this whenever assigned a skidded coil load. This equipment is what is necessary to fulfill the FMCSA's required two elements that must be present on all skidded coils, an X over the top of the coils and a forward motion block. The first step to securing skidded coils is to place your J-hooks in the J-hook channel. There will be three J-hooks on each side of the coils. Working from the front of the coils to the back, you should place your first J-hook in the first fourth of the coils. This will serve as part of the required X over the top. Then the second in the middle of the coils. This will serve as your forward motion chain. And finally the third on the last fourth of the coils. This will serve as the other part of the required X over the top. Repeat this on the other side, keeping the J-hooks in line with their counterparts on the other side of the coils. Sometimes you'll need to adjust the spacing of your J-hooks to ensure that the chains do not make unnecessary contact with cargo. Once all of your J-hooks are placed, you'll then attach one chain to each of the J-hooks. You'll attach the chain to the J-hooks via looping the hook of the chain through the eye of the J-hook and securing it in the lowest available link. You should ensure that there is as little slack in the loop as possible. You will then throw your X over the top chains. Proceeding to connect each chain to the J-hook diagonally across from its origin point in the same manner you connected them on the other side. It's at this time you should place your edge protectors under each chain, always remembering that metal is never to touch metal. You'll then connect a binder to one end of the X over the top chains. Proceed to tighten your binders until you achieve twang tight. Finally, you'll place your rubber belting on the lead edge of the coil, pinning it to the item with your forward motion block. You'll then connect the final chain to the middle J-hooks and pull it around the leading face of the coil. Don't be afraid to adjust your J-hook placement as noted earlier. It's your responsibility to ensure that there's no unnecessary chain contact with the item. Tighten this chain until twang tight. There you have it. Often you'll have multiple stacks of coil. All you have to do is repeat this process on each of the coils. To learn more, please inquire with us at the links provided below. Stay safe and keep trucking.